we going there? Today I'm going to show you five must-have pedals if you're wanting to play Doom or Stoner Rock. I'm going to show you my pedal board today and just give you a few ideas of what else you can use. For the most part with Doom and Stoner, you're wanting a fuzz pedal to begin with. I'll show you the fuzz pedals that I'm currently using and I'll show you some alternatives as well. In my opinion, stick with the classics. Yes, you can get a few boutique pedals here and there, but the classics always work. So I'll show you my pedal board at the moment. Got a lot of stuff on here. I'll show you what I'm using. Okay, so I recommend if you're wanting to do it cheap, the Big Muff. Uh, I like the Russian. If you want, you can get the standard Big Muff. That's all good. I also use a few other fuzz pedals. I got the Massive here from Frost Giant Pedals. That's a really good pedal. Uh, pretty, pretty affordable. A lot of people use it, uh, very bass heavy, so that's a great pedal. It's just absolutely beastly pedal. The loudest pedal I've got is the Acapulco Gold from Earthquaker Devices. Another really good pedal, good to pair it up with other pedals as well. I've got the Pharoah as well, quite good pedal. And I've got, what's this, the DA120 as well up here. I don't use that as much, but it's still pretty good. Look, if you're wanting to get the Russian fuzz, uh, the Russian muff, sorry, that's like, if you get it secondhand, you can get it really cheap. I also recommend using a fuzz face. Um, I've used this for a long time. I've had this pedal for around 10 years here. Um, you might want to get a smaller version of it. That's still pretty good. You can get them for cheap secondhand. I have also used the um, full tone octafuzz in the past, just the fuzz at, at the very top here. It's got a fuzz and octave setting there. Um, that's another good fuzz pedal. Works really well combined with the fuzz face. Some of these pedals that work super good together. Uh, the Acapulco Gold and the Rat mixing a fuzz with a distortion. So yeah, grab a fuzz if you're wanting. Any one of them will do. I just recommend any type of big muff of any kind. That's fine. Um, other pedals you need... Uh, distortion pedals. You might want to consider a really cheap one. I like to use the rat, okay? You can put that, here we go, you can put the rat with any type of clean channel and it's going to sound good, it doesn't matter. Um, also to that you may get a Boss DS1, they're pretty good as well. I know Boris, uh, Water from Boris, exclusively uses the Boss DS1. She also has like a, a copy Big Muff, I believe as well. I forget the company. Um, some kind of animal, like Yak or one of those weird animals. So, you know, a lot of the good sounds that you're hearing, they, they use your standard stuff. I know that um, Acid King, I know she's using a Big Muff in there somewhere, so... You know, the Massif I just showed you before. I know that Windhand uses um, the Mountain instead of the Massif, but I'm pretty sure the Mountain circuitry is, is taken from the Massif as well. So you can, you can use most of these pedals to a good standard, okay? Now, on top of that, the third pedal I recommend having is some kind of octave up on my board at the moment. I'm using the Does It Doom Sabathi. Quite a good pedal. It's got, you know, the fuzz built in. It's, it's really aggressive, really beastly. That's why I like it. And it just gives me the tone I'm wanting. Additionally, I have had good results from the Octafuzz full tone as well. Um, another really good pedal that it doesn't do the same thing. They, they do octave ups, but they do it slightly differently. The Sabathi is more aggressive. If you're wanting just to save money, not spend too much, you can get um, that Behringer Superfuzz as well. They all come from the Boss Hyperfuzz. Um, so the Behringer Superfuzz is like $30 Australian. US, it's like $10, $15 secondhand. You can pretty much get whatever you want for whatever price. Um, they're really good to have. You know, early Electric Wizard used them a lot, almost every song. If you want to look at um, 
come my fanatics and dope throne they're pretty much using it the majority of the time um also with the boss hyper fuzz you've got mono lord they use it a lot as well so it's just got that real doomy sound if you're wanting to be like super heavy and all that all right those are three pedals that you probably need to have some type of fuzz some type of distortion and some type of octave up if you're wanting to do some type of doom or stoner i'll show you some additional pedals that you might want to add to the list now the first one will be some kind of delay i've got the el capistan strymon delay i got recommended this by a friend it pretty much does everything you need if you're wanting to go cheap you can get some real cheap boss delay pedals like those white ones they're super cheap um, it just helps to add different layers, different dimensions to your playing, different textures, especially if you're doing some psych stuff like heavy psych. If you're doing stoner stuff, you're probably going to use a delay. Even, you know, doomy stuff use a lot of delays for that added effect as well in their solos, in their lead parts, if they're wanting to be psychedelic and trippy. Um, get a delay. And the last one I recommend the fifth one is any type of wah pedal. So it just gives you that extra added effect if you're wanting to do a solo. If you're wanting to maybe even write a, a, a riff with wah. If you're wanting to do some chords where you're wanting that kind of spaced out effect, you chuck a delay on with the wah and it can really just add that extra dimension to it. You know, you can do those chords with a flanger as well. That's perfectly fine. But I think if you're sticking with these pedals, you're going to have five pedals. Um, you can get all of these for super cheap, especially secondhand. If you get a Russian or Big Muff, if you get a Rat or Boss DS1 for your overdrive, if you get a Behringer Octave Up um, Super Fuzz, and then you get, you know, a boss, one of those white boss delays. And then you go for, you know, a secondhand Dunlop Wah or something like that. You can get like a full blown setup for like, you know, 500, maybe $400. If you're wanting to chuck in a pedal board as well, you add a little bit more onto that. But well under, you know, well under $1,000, you can get some awesome pedals and you can have a full blown setup for super cheap and you'll be sounding good. I mean, Boris used the DS1 and they use a muff pedal. Um, Electric Wizard, Mono Lord, use an octave up. Um, as I just mentioned, Acid King, use a big muff. And a lot of people are using just wahs and delays. So already with some of the, the big bands in that genre, you've got the same gear. Yes, they might be using different amps here and there, especially um, Boris. I know that they use vintage amps and they've got a full blown stacks going. Um, I, know, I know Acid King have used Marshalls and Electric Wizard using Marshalls as well. But for the most part, like if you've got a reasonable amp, you've got some of these pedals going, you can make a good sound. And sometimes it's good to start off doing it cheap and look to improve in the future. Like I said, the Acapulco Gold, I'll show you again. The Acapulco Gold, put that up here, it's like a boom box. Acapulco Gold and the Massive. I know for a fact, you can buy them secondhand for under 200 Australian dollars. Who knows what type of American exchange that is, but it's like, probably a hundred American each or something secondhand. I got mine secondhand. Um, for, you know, brand new is still, still reasonable price as well. No one's putting too much of a price tag on some of these good pedals. If you're spending $500 on the pedal, well, my recommendation is you probably don't need to. You might like a, like one of those Sun Life pedals, those, those real big ones, you know, they're pretty reasonable, but for the most part, you can do it for cheap. You don't have to worry too much about blowing the budget to get a good sound, okay? Anyway, until next time.